In this video, we're going to be writing the domain in interval notation of a logarithmic function. In this first example, we have f of x equals the log base 2 of 2x plus 4. So to begin, we're going to take this inside piece here, this 2x plus 4, and we are going to set that greater than 0. And we're going to solve. So next we're going to subtract both sides by 4 leaving us with 2x is greater than negative 4. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2, leaving us with x is greater than negative 2. Hence, our domain would be from negative 2 to infinity. Let's try this next example. For part b, we have h of x equals the log of x squared minus 9, and this is a base 10 log, it's a common log. And we're going to work it the same way, we're going to take our inside piece here, x squared minus 9, and we're going to set that greater than 0. And we're going to solve. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides, and that's going to give me an x squared is greater than 9, and then I'm going to square root both sides, which then gives me x equals plus or minus 3. So here I have two answers. So these are like boundary points. So I have a boundary point of negative 3 and a boundary point of 3. So we need to test a number between them, a number bigger, and a number smaller. So we're going to take those and we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug them in to our initial equation here. So we're going to go ahead and take negative 4. And we're going to plug that in. And we're going to take 0 and plug that in. And we're going to take positive 4. And we're going to plug that in and see what we get. So let me make this a little bit easier to read. So let's just scoot this over so we have a little bit more room. All right, so when we plug those in, we end up having 7 being greater than 0, and then we end up with a negative 9 greater than 0, and then we end up with a 7 greater than 0, and in these situations we see that this one is not greater than 0, that's not going to work. And so from our boundary point this direction, and from our boundary point this direction, is where we're going to be greater than or equal to 0. So, for our domain, for this problem, we're going to say that we're going to have from negative infinity to the number negative 3, and that's not included because we don't have a greater than or equal to sign there. And we're going to union that with positive 3 to infinity. And now we have our domain of this logarithmic function.